this patient has a new onset of positioning symptoms about 10 days ago. She can't lie down, and uh, we're going to uh, test her now. She's in the tall pike left position, and we're going to lie back. If you get dizzy, please leave your eyes open. She's in the head left position now. And she has some horizontal nystagmus that is away from the earth. So she is, although she's in the head left position, she is, her eyes are beating to the right side. This is not what we would expect with lateral canal lithiasis. This is rather what we would expect with lateral um, cupulo lithiasis. There is also another possibility. This could be the ageotropic form of lateral canal lithiasis. So we're going to just look at this and see if it's transient or persistent. It seems to be somewhat persistent. So the way to test this is to see if it reverses when we go all the way to the other side. And on the other side, it seems to stop. If this were a cupulolithiasis of the lateral canal ampulla, then we would see a reversal of this ageotropic lateral nystagmus. Now, if we do get the ageotropic form of, of canal lithiasis, all we do is repeat the supine roll maneuver until the response turns into a more traditional geotropic canal lithiasis. Let's see if that works. So we're gonna turn your head all the way back now. to your left side, and there it is, quite strong, it's still ageotropic, it's going to the right, seems to be rather long-lasting. It is not settling down. This means that there's either cupula lithiasis or we just actually um, moved the debris onto the cupola. In that case, in that latter case, it will stop when we move to the other side. Let's see if we can move all the way to the other side now, 90 deg 180 degrees, as in the supine roll maneuver. And the response simply stops. So this leads me to believe with such a strong response that doesn't reverse that we are dealing with a and the ageotropic lateral canal lithiasis. So we're going to repeat the supine roll in this position, the otoliths are likely, oh, here we are, now we have a reversal. And that may be a good thing, it may be that the otoliths are gonna fall into the intermediate segment of the lateral canal. They're stopping, and when we turn back, 
this ageotropic response may turn into a geotropic response. Okay, 180 degrees the other direction now. Oh, very good. And now it's to, we're head is to the left, and the eyes are now beating to the left, and very strongly. So we had eight. We had a reverse response, and now it is now a concordant response. The head is to the left, the eyes are beating to the left. We converted the ageotropic form to the geotropic form of lateral canalithiasis. That was quite a strong response to the left side. And we'll compare it to the strength of the response to the right side. And that's a strong beat to the right, and it's so strong that I would say that she probably has right-sided lateral canalithiasis. And we're going to now <coughs> complete her treatment by rolling her up into the um, nose-down position, the barbecue maneuver to liberate these otoliths, these canalites. This is a good demonstration of, number one, a right ageotropic lateral canalithiasis. Number two, the use of the supine roll to convert the ageotropic form to a geotropic form of lateral canalithiasis.